So I recently did a video saying that I wasn't buying sports cards locally and apparently I've gone out and bought a lot of cards locally and spent over $1,000 in the past week. Uh, so yeah, let's run through my pickups. Alright, so we have two big lots here. One is someone's collection. I'm gonna leave it till the end because there's so much in it. Uh, and then the other one was a lot that I thought was at a very fair price in terms of reselling and then some smaller cards included as well. So let's go through the first lot, not the big lot, but pretty big lot as well. Uh, this one was $500. So uh, Jason Tatum a lot. I th really like the value in this price. Uh, and I think in terms of what he priced it at, I feel like I can, yeah, generate a good re uh, resale. So $500 for all these cards. Uh, I'll actually get to the side so I won't spoil it. Uh, first up, Jason Tatum Majestic. This is Chronicles out of 99. It is numbered. Uh, so yeah, one card there. We have the Jason Tatum Optic Red Yellow. Jason Tatum uh, Prestige Rookie Card. We have the Jason Tatum Rookie Credentials there. We have Jason Tatum Hoops. Uh, let's go this one first. We'll go Jason Tatum The Status Rookie. We have Jason Tatum Prison Emergent. I'll go this one next. <laughs> I'm going, I'm pretty much going in order at the moment. So uh, this is the Jason Tatum Crown Royale. It's uh, what grading company is it? Black Label Grading Co. I did actually look them up. They're an Australian grading brand. Uh, got a nine. Uh, they spelt Crown Royale wrong, unfortunately. So I'm just going to crack it and just sell as raw. Oh, I don't even know yet. I might just sell it uh, as is, but it's not numbered. It's just the base. So yeah, got the subgrades on the back. Next card up, I have been able to sell this card for about $150 to $200 before um, and in, in a PSA 9. I think the comps are around that same price at the moment for Raw. So uh, the press proof out of $199 of Jason Tatum. Uh, yeah, really nice card here. And then the main card that got me sucked into buying the whole lot, a Jason Tatum Auto. I mean, it's a sticker auto and uh, it's out of $149. It's a low-end product being status and it's graded by a bit of an unknown company, but... It's still a Jason Tatum rookie auto. So yeah, $500 for this whole lot. I'll probably crack this slab. Uh, I ended up getting a 10 uh, on the autograph. So who knows, maybe I'll send it into PSA and just grade the auto as well as the card condition itself. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll crack the, the slab for this. So yeah, I, I paid all up about uh, five twenty. It was five twenty for goods and services. Next up, another cheap lot. I got this one for twenty five dollars. He just came off winning his super, second Super Bowl, and it's one of the only Patrick Mahomes cards I own. Uh, Patrick Mahomes Phoenix. I love Phoenix. You guys have seen I've made a video on why I love Phoenix. Great football set. It is in NBA as well, but in Chronicles, unfortunately. Uh, the Heatway, which is an insert. So uh, out of 125 and then out of 199 um, from 2021. So yeah, numbered Patrick Mahomes inserts. Uh, this one was actually one off his jersey number, unfortunately. He's number 15 and this one's 14. Uh, and that one's not even near his jersey number. And then I got this little uh, lot of cards for $15 posted. So cards work out to be about $1.50 to $2 each. Uh, Tommy Tremble uh, out of 179 Optic. Tommy Tremble out of 299 Optic. Daniel Jones, who as of today just got given a $40 million contract, which is pretty ridiculous. Uh, out of 75 Select, not his rookie card, but yeah, still numbered card of a quarterback who's Aver above average? I don't even know. Uh, Joe Trion, Trion, out of 199 Prism. Larry Roundtree out of uh, 35. Uh, Larry Roundtree out of 50. Yep, purple. Uh, Joe Trion, Trion, I don't know what it is, Silver Prism. And Nashawn Wright out of 149 Red Prism. Um, yeah, plays for the Cowboys. All these, all these guys are still playing on their respective teams at the moment, so... $1.50 to $2 for numbered cards. Uh, I'm happy with that one. So as I was just saying as well, I did buy someone's collection off Facebook for $500. He said he was leaving the hobby and he sent me a few pictures of cards. Uh, some of the cards in, in, the, in the whole lot itself. It's a huge, huge collection. Has supplies and everything like that. So more than... More than double five hundred dollars. He even said himself it was going to be easily, uh, easily doubling your money, if not tripling. And when people say that, I'm always a little bit of a skeptic. When yeah, people say that, just because I've had people say that before, I looked at their comps and how they price it, and I was like, 
you're pretty bang on in terms of what I value it at and you know what what actual comps are. So um, yeah, I like with this one, I actually thought, yeah, I think he's being truthful when he says he's going to double your money. Uh, and we had a yeah, great ch chat about cards um, when we met up. So yeah, let's show you this lot. All right, so I've had to pull out the vlog camera here because there is a lot to get through. Uh, but yeah, we'll go through the boxes first and I'll just show you what's in it. So this is just basically all the supplies. There was a lot of top loaders in here, card stands. I even had some package uh, padded mailers and I've yeah, taken that. Uh, it was a box of $19.99. Oh, I can see the cards already coming out, but $19.99 to 2000 tops Chrome. Uh, wasn't anything big in there. I, did, I, looked, I did go through it already and um, you know, a few, few interesting rookies like R uh, Richard Hamilton, uh, Sean Marion as well. And I think there was one all right card here that was going for about $20. It was like a Jason Williams. Uh, refractor, something like this one, but a refractor. A uh, bunch of Bowman first. I think this guy was a big baseball collector, so he had a lot of Bowmans. Uh, just base sets. Uh, I don't even know if they're base sets, but I'm just going to chuck them into uh, some envelopes and give them out to kids at future card shows. So if you do see me in the future ones, and I'm holding a bunch of envelopes, more than likely, you can just ask me for one. Uh, but yeah, a lot of top loaders here. He did have a box as well. Uh, so this is just a small box, but it has a lot of Pokemon. I already did get get it valued through my man, uh, Andy's Toy Story. If you haven't uh, checked him out, go check him out on Instagram. Um, but yeah, I asked him to value <laughs> some Pokemon for me and he said there wasn't anything that great in here, unfortunately. But yeah, these again will just be given out to uh, kids in being packed. Not even repacks, but just free packs I'm going to give out. And then yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, NFL stuff in here. So there actually was some numbered rookies in here. Um, he was a Carolina Panthers fan, so a bit of Will Greer. Uh, who else is on the Carolina Panthers? I'm, I'm getting tested. Terry Godwin, uh, Brian Burns. Yeah, they're all in there. A lot of numbered rookies. So that was actually good value, and I can actually see it here. I mean, Terry Godwin, I don't even think he's on the team anymore, but yeah, a lot of rookies there, and then some numbereds and bases and all that sort of stuff. All right, so this is the big box. I, I'll pull them out. And we'll get back to where we were at the start, but I'll just show you what else is in this box. So again, all this is all for $500. So as I was saying before, there's about four of these boxes. These, This one's tops, but yeah, it's a huge stack of baseball cards. I'm just going to go through them. I'll sort them out and I'll give them out to whoever wants them. I'm not really big into baseball, uh, but yeah, there's a, there's, a lot, there's a lot to go through here. So... Uh, this is more baseball. <laughs> I could go through each card, honestly, and it would take me at least an hour, but we're not going to do that. But there were some nicer cards here. This one's not really worth anything, but a uh, very interesting card, like a little medallion here. Uh, what else was it? It was like a few jersey patches and all that sort of stuff. Um, if we get that one out. Yeah, so these are the manuf manufactured uh, patches. They're not numbered or anything like that. So yeah, they're only worth like a dollar. But a lot, a lot of, a lot of baseball, and I'm not really a baseball person. And there's a lot, a lot of soccer as well. So uh, there'll be a lot of cards that would be given out by yours truly. Uh, what do we have here? So uh, yeah, I'll bring this all out individually. But yeah, as you can see, there's four more tops. I could have easily have just done this as a live stream because there's so much to go through here and I can't even get through all of it because I'm not going to bore you to death with base. But yeah, these are some of the cards that I picked out that I know are worth all right, so Tatis, Project 70, uh, Elijah Moore, Origins, RJA, Zach Wilson, base, that's not really worth much. Terry McLaurin, Gold, gold Standard RPA, if that can focus, but yeah, Gold Standard RPA, gorgeous patch, yeah, big player. Sam Tuttle, once was a big player, but more of a draft bust now. Uh, we have... Yeah, any any baseball or NHL or soccer that I go through here and you know it's worth something, let me know because a lot of it to me isn't worth too much. Uh, Il Eloy Jimenez, I know that's worth a little bit. Eloy Jimenez as well. Uh, Keston Hura, Update Refractor. Fernando Tatis, Topps Chrome PSA 10. I know that's worth something. I did research this one. This one's actually about $70, $80. So Craig Biggio, I think that's how you say it. I am a Houston, Houston Astros fan, but very loosely just being from that Houston connection. Um, yeah, just going to resell it. Tatis, Project 70, these aren't worth too much. Uh, Jake Cronenworth, Topps Finest, Gold Refractor Auto. So yeah, I think this one was worth a little bit as well. And then the big card that is probably worth the entire $500 lot, and I'm not kidding, Manny 
Machado. Oh my God, I hope I'm saying that right. Manny Machado, Manny Machado. Machado sounds right. Tops Dynasty encased. Uh, it's not his rookie, but Patch Auto, and he's one of the top 10 players in baseball from what I gather. And I looked at comps, and it's around the $400 range. So uh, this card makes up for pretty much everything. And then, you know, as you saw in the previous video, uh, like in the. In my video already, you've probably seen all the other stuff that I showed with all the base and all that sort of stuff. So it's already more than made up uh, what I've paid for it. All right, let's get through this box, which has a little bit of basketball, a little bit of soccer, a little bit of everything. Pretty much the theme of this entire lot purchase. So basketball, Kyrie, Shea, Kyrie, Kyrie. It's the Aussie accent, guys. Giannis, Rudy Gobert, Jordan Clarkson. Uh, Giannis, Jordan Nawara, who's on the Pacers now, National Treasures jersey, Isaiah Stewart, Sadiq Bay, Retail Select, never was a fan of Retail Select in my own opinion, uh, KPJ, Alexei Pokashevsky, Matisse, uh, Matisse, and the Sea Little, Emmanuel Quickly, who's just had a big game, Jordan Poole, James Wiseman, Theo Maladone, Kenny Martin Jr., CJ Alby. Auto, patch auto, Tuba Hubbard. There we go. There's a Carolina Panthers player that I have seen. <laughs> uh, draft picks, Prism. Brian Burns, here are the Brian Burns autos that I was talking about. Actually a very solid player. Two Pro Bowl selections, so a bunch of his autographs will go very well in terms of reselling again. Uh, yeah, defensive player, but two Pro Bowl selections means a fair bit. Uh, let's go. Mm, I've got this backwards. Great. Desmond Bain, red, white, blue. Anthony Edwards, Moses Brown, gold optic contenders rookie. Still a gold optic contenders rookie, like it's... You know, not a great player, but still. Anthony Simons, who's been pretty hot. Not his rookie card, though. Uh, Dennis Rodman, Metal Universe. I actually haven't looked at these. Scotty Pippen. I don't know 90s cards well at all. Like, I always, whenever I look at them, I'm like, oh, is this worth something? And then I'm like, oh, it's not worth anything when I find out. Patrick Williams Silva, Darius Garland, and Patrick Williams again. All right, getting to the NFL here. Uh, Truba Hubbard, Jonathan Taylor. Brett Favre, Jamie Newman, J.K. Dobbins, Miko Hardman, Harold Landry, Philip Rivers, Jacob Eason, Patrick Mahomes, Evan Bush, Cameron Hayward, Joe Mixon. There's a bunch of base here. There's some NBA in the back. So I don't know what's actually in here. Jeremy Chin, who is a very solid player, actually. Mo Bamba. Oh, it's Don Russ. Yeah, okay. And Optic. Any big players? Any Jalen Brunson, who might be a bit of a sneaky one. People would have tried to throw him out. Miles Bridges, Grayson, Allen. All right, and then we'll finish off this box with multiple boxes still to come with soccer. Don't know anything about soccer, so you tell me in the comments if there's anything good here, please. Uh, Immobile, uh, Vieira. I only know some of these players because of FIFA. Bamiang, FIFA. Uh, I don't play FIFA anymore. Not a massive fan. I got, got a bit sick of it. Venice, oh, okay. See, I haven't even comped some of these cards yet. Gabriel, not a bad player, from what I gather as well. Uh, AFL, there we go. He is a Richmond fan, so we were talking about Richmond, which was great. Uh, Chronicles, was that? Trincao, not a bad player as well, I think. I think. <laughs> uh, NFL, a bit of soccer. Soccer Chronicles. No one noteworthy from my eyes. And then the last... Oh, I'll have to split this one into two because there's so much going on here. And I've got it completely backwards, except for that card. Soccer Chronicles. Nothing popping out to me. Again, giving it out at future shows. Uh, I can pop this one here. And then the final stack for the soccer... I'm glad because I don't know much, but there's some numbered rookies here as well. Numbered, yeah, numbered cards. I don't know if they're worth anything, but still, numbered cards as well. Uh, here we go. No Lionel Messi's from what I remember. But I can't, you know, I can't wait to go through these cards and actually look at comps. That's the that's the fun part of this. It's just going through everything and seeing what's worth something. Mitrovic, Robbie Brady, Dale Stevens, Immobile, and Pablo Herbius. All right, let's rifle through this. Michael Carter, Origins. Uh, okay, we have a bunch, bunch of NHL here. And anyone here who watches me from and knows the NHL well, please, please, please tell me if any of it's good, all right? Uh, so I'm not even going to say names. I do know there are a few here that are all right, and I will 
go through them, but he did s tell me which ones they were. And then, um, yeah, I don't even know if he's a number. No, it's a nice looking parallel. Oh, it's oh, nice to see NHL cards in hand, actually, because, uh, yeah, not really an NHL fan, but I might have to get into another sport. I might have to. All right. So I'm not sure where it is. He did tell me who it was. No, I don't think it's here yet. Jen Harley. I can't even give you like me trying to pretend like I know the sport because I actually don't know anything about the sport. Uh, all right, Louis Carlson. Where was it? He showed me who it was. Upside down, upside down. Oh, okay. Let's flip this around. Mikey Anderson, Pavel. Anku, no, no, it's not that. Must be in this last pile, the player that I'm talking about. You might have predicted it already if you know your NHL. Uh, really hot player at the moment. So this was a nice little patch uh, patch auto and then another patch auto. I think this was only like worth about 20 bucks, but exquisite. Uh, what is that? I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Brent Burns, <laughs> where is this card? Have I left it till last? Have I left it to the last one? Or have I already like taken it out? Brett Burns, Brett Burns. Where is it? Ah, here it is. Jason Robertson. So apparently this is a really hot card. I think it's like $50 or $60. Uh, and then PSA 10 goes for a fair price. And I, I was researching him because I have heard his name and he's half Filipino. So shout out to you. Um, maybe I'll have to start a PC of Jason Robinson, but I think it might be a little bit too expensive. Uh, so, yeah, so that was the card. And then he did tell me Matthew Barzell is all right as well. So uh, these two players, not too bad. Um, unfortunately, no Connor McDavid, who I know is a fairly good player as well. But yeah, that's all the NHL. That's a huge stack of it. Again, we've already made our money back with the uh, the Manny Machado. <laughs> and now this is just really everything on top of it that I can get rid of. But again, I'm going give to out, give out a lot of it as well. Uh, I think, yeah, I could easily... Make my money with it, and he also gave me a lot of supplies, which will be very handy. All right, baseball now. So, oh, again, I don't know how I'm going to break this up because this is going to be a lot to get through. I just want to try and find the ones that he said were good because I do know they're all right. Okay, let's go. Let's take these out. All right, we'll have a huge stack here. Huge, huge stack. All right. Uh, not even going to try and pretend I know any of these players. If I've heard them, I've heard them, but that's pretty much it. Uh, no, there's nothing in this huge lot. Again, these are all Bowman first. So these are like the main rookies. Don't want to say anything stupid. <laughs> uh, Gavin Lux, all right player, top's finest. Unfortunately, he's done his ACL, so he's out for the season. So uh, top's finest, Luan Diaz, uh, six so chances. Uh, Jazz Chisholm, I think he's all right. Uh, Trent... Grisom, Grisom, he's all right as well. Shohei Otani, I know him. I would love to start a Shohei Otani PC if he wasn't so expensive. But yeah, I think that's... I've narrowed down my PC. It's Asian players. But a lot of Asian players are good, unfortunately. So yeah, again, Jordan Alvarez, I do know him. Uh, interesting parallels here. Anthony Volpe, I, don't, I do know he's fairly hyped. It's just his base, but Anthony Volpe. A few Bowman Chrome autos as well were in here. Will Wilson. Um, where are we going to get through this? All right. I know there were a few Jeremy Pena uh, first Bowman Chrome. No autos, unfortunately. I would have loved that. Anthony Volpe, Bowman Chrome paper. I'm oh, sorry, Bowman paper. Jason Dominguez, The Martian. One of the most hyped players. Here we go. Jeremy Pena. Won the World Series MVP for Houston. Yeah, I mean, it's not worth too much. Maybe about 5 to $10 per card, but, you know, I'm getting a bunch of them here. And then, you know, Bowman Paper as well. Uh, auto, base, auto, mojo looking card, parallel, and Sapphire. That's what it is. I couldn't think. Literally couldn't think. All right, we'll go through this last stack and I won't show anymore because there's way too much here. There's also like a lot of soccer and I don't want to embarrass myself too much in one video going through soccer and not knowing anything. But yeah, there was a ton of soccer and a lot of color. There wasn't, I don't think there was anything worth too much, unfortunately, but that's fine. Again, giving them out, really cheap. could be easy sells. Uh, Gavin Lux, Bo Bichette, who is a sole player. Bo Bichette, Topps Chrome. I actually didn't see that last time, but yeah, Topps Chrome. 
Uh, Jazz Chisholm. We have another auto. Baseball, there's a lot of autographs I've learned. I mean, you can say that with every sport, essentially, but I feel like with baseball, there is because you do have a lot of that prospecting involved. I think that's where the term prospecting almost comes. Uh, National Treasures, Auto, Fernando Tatis, Trent Grisham again, Barry Bichette. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to get rid of all the baseball. Because uh, my, my, my idea is to just go up to kids and just be like, oh, what are you a fan of? And if you're a you know, you're an NBA fan, I'll give you some NBA cards. If you're a soccer fan, I'll give you soccer cards. But what kid in Australia is actually a baseball fan? Is it, or not even that, is going to say that baseball is their number one sport. So I might have to mix in the baseball with like the other sports and then just, just call it as is. Uh, I don't know. You guys have to let me know in the comments. Give me some ideas because, uh, yeah, there's not, I don't know. I'm not that creative with it. But yeah, so more Bowman's, top finest, Shohei Yatani again. Oh, there's a lot of baseball, another auto. I mean, it's it's it'll be quite easy to sell in terms of the autos. They actually, a lot of people from America do buy from Australia. Like they have bought from my eBay store my baseball autographs, which is really interesting considering it cost me $21 to $22 to ship to America. And then some of the cards only cost $20. So people will pay it, weirdly enough. Uh, auto, auto, Sapphire, huh? Uh, we have Bowman Paper getting towards the end of it, but yeah, a lot of base here. It's it's honestly been fun just just going through it. I, I spent like two hours yesterday going through each box and then just checking each card. Um, yeah, that's I think that's like that's the fun of it with lots. Like on top of obviously selling it, reselling it, all that sort of stuff, but just going through it and seeing you know if there is anything worth it, what potentially hasn't been shown. Uh, honestly, I could have a Saturday night in and just look at lots and just uh, just enjoy, have a bit of a quiet one. So that is it for pickups. I also obviously had my pickups at the Hobby Hangout, which I've already shown in that vlog. So if you have missed that, go check it out. Again, I spent $1,000 on these two lots, $500 each. Uh, and then, yeah, $25 on Patrick Mahomes, $15 on the other NFL lot. So I've been trying to target more value, more volume in terms of reselling. I'm, I'm not a high-end sort of buyer and seller. I've always struggled with that. I think I'm more of a low-end to mid-end sort of person. I find that easier uh, and a little bit less riskier for myself. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of my pickups. Make sure you do smash the like and subscribe button down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in future videos. Take care.